right? Love is an emotion. An emotion is energy in motion, hits one person, dies out, hits another person, maybe the secretary, right? Then hits another person, right? Then hits another person, right? And then it's gone, right? That's falling in love, right? Love, outrageous love, is not an emotion. It's a perception. That's God, reality meeting God. Right? It's the same that moves quarks to become molecules. It's the same force that moves us to contact, to recognition, to mutuality, to embrace. Right? Outrageous love responds to outrageous pain. What's outrageous pain? And we actually say we've got to respond to outrageous pain first up by recognizing that it's outrageous. And the answer to the great question of suffering is the question itself. Why am I screaming out it's not fair if there's no notion of fair? Why am I screaming out it's not beautiful if there's not beauty? Why am I screaming out it's not good if there's not goodness? Right? If the world is just tooth eat claw, if the world is happenstance and random, why would you possibly expect anything else? But when Dave Logan spoke yesterday of being outraged, what he meant was it's, I'm outraged because it's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be good and true and beautiful and it's not, and so I'm outraged. So outraged is God. God is outrage. We live in a world of outrageous pain. The only response to outrageous pain is outrageous love. So why, why do we close our hearts? Because the gap between our ability to feel the pain and our ability to heal the pain is too great. Do you hear that? Because the gap between the ability to feel and the ability to heal is too great. We close our hearts. Because if you actually let it in and feel it, you become dysfunctional. You can't function. You can't move. You can't create. Or you can't shift, you can't transform. So you've got to actually close your heart. Now, here's the problem. There's one love, there's one heart. So here's the crazy deal. You can't shut your heart a thousand times a year and think that the rest of your heart's going to remain open right, to full intimacy with my children, my relationships, my circle of beloveds. So I shut my heart time and time and time again. But then I think, oh, but I got this other heart, and that heart I keep open, and this heart I keep shutting. No, 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 one heart, one love. And when you have that experience of outrageous love, you do not answer why there's outrageous pain because you sit in the paradox. And part of success is being able to hold paradox or being able to laugh and hold paradox by Buddha was smiling. People that can hold paradox, right, can actually be successful. 